<laughs> I do, folks. Yeah, all of you. My word, my opinion. I know there's a bunch of you think I'm just, I only attack the right. Well, <clears throat> all right, folks. So, evidently breaking news, and, and I'll go out on a limb because, so the Young Turks are going live. The Navy knew Titan had imploded, right, you know. Well, no, they did not know. Okay. Like I say, they picked up a sound. Could have been a sub imploding. So, what are we supposed to do? Just write off these people and, oh, okay. I mean, they're in the national waters. Why do we have to go get them? Oh, because it was a United States company. Is that why? Look, the Navy did not know definitively if that submarine had imploded. They heard a sound, lost communications. It wasn't bobbing up on the surface. So yes, people know probably odds. If you had an actuary take the Figure out what are the odds of these people being alive? It's going to be 95% that they are already dead. Yes. But are we supposed to write them off? So like I said before, I've been on search and rescues in the National Park Service. We don't even know if anything's wrong with these people. All we get is a notice that Mr. Smith didn't show up at 4 p.m. at the hotel to meet his friends for dinner. And guess what? We go look. We go check. Yeah, is it a big expense? Well, it costs money for these people to go out and it does add up. But people, the Navy did not know that Titan had imploded. I don't care if a, if a freaking admiral comes up, you know, call me stupid or what, and says, we knew. No, you didn't. Not unless you witnessed it or you heard a report and somebody just said, we just imploded. You hear a sound, that is not definitive. You might presume, you might assume, but until you know, you have to assume that those people are still alive. Okay, because what are you going to do? You're going to write them off. Oh, we don't want to spend the millions of dollars to go search for them. That's a different argument, if you want to argue that, okay? But, so is this a new policy that, that we're coming up with? That if we have a probably not survive? No more search and rescue? No, I, you know, they're just jumping on this. The Navy knew. Okay, I've been on many scenes and the person appears to be dead. Okay, but we don't say they're dead. Why? Because we can't be definitive. Not until a paramedic gets there, hooks up, checks the heart, sees if it's, if it's beating or not. I mean... You can't tell it by looking at it. So now imagine you hear somebody, uh, you're going, you're knocking on the door and you hear somebody scream. My God, I'm having a heart attack. Do we know they're having a heart attack? No, we don't know they're having a heart attack. But the, the, evidently the, the young Turks want to jump on this because breaking news, Navy knew. I mean, it's like they're calling out a conspiracy by the Navy. No, I'm sorry. I might look like a fool going against the grain. But I'm sorry, there is no way that Navy knew that that thing imploded. They had a presumption that it probably did. And then what? So they sit there and say, OK, it didn't. Uh, we're going to take the we're going to take the stance that they're all dead. So we'll send one boat out there with a remote thing, you know, in two weeks and we'll take a look. And then you find out that, hey, guess what? It didn't implode. They were sitting down there waiting for somebody to come get them. And then what happens? Come on, people. Now. Did we lose money on this? I got news for you. It's called an exercise in my book. The Navy does these exercises, not every other day, but they do sub recovery, sub uh, rescue. They do these drills. To them, this is a chance to do some recovery operations and learn and possibly prevent future loss of life if our subs go down. My words, my opinion, people, all right? Call me a fool, call me whatever you want, but this is my belief and I will always tell you what I believe, okay? And I'm, I'm not the genius in the book. So yeah, call me out when I slip up, but this ain't gonna be one of them. Have a good day, folks.